Yes, I'm going to shoot for that. Yes. So, <laughs> thank you. That's definitely the goal. I mean, I'm, I'm so passionate about the sport, so this is exciting for me. So take me through that, because 2016 is such a high. You know, you had this really great Olympics. You came back with two, two medals. And then you're taking a little break and some time for you. What is that journey like deciding, okay, I'm going to get back in the gym, start training really hard and try to go for 2020? I mean, it was quite the decision because 2016, I had an incredible experience. I loved being with my teammates and just the opportunities were so exciting. And then we did Dancing of the Stars and then we did two tours and then we released a book and then there was a book tour and there was just all these different things that were happening. So... I wasn't too sure about a comeback. I was just really staying in the present. But I remember just this year, I was like, you know, I'm really feeling it. And I, I'm still very passionate about it. And I had my inner circle tell me, well, you're still really young. And if you're still passionate about it, you have time. So might as well try. And, and honestly, any encouragement from anybody really helps me. So. so now that you've announced that you're going to go for it, how does your day-to-day -day change? What is your life going to look like? So traveling starts to slow down a bit. Um, training is definitely really important right now because I, I've given myself a short amount of time, but um, it's just enough for me to come back for meet season. And uh, it's making sure that we can feel comfortable in what we're doing and hopefully try some new skills. So right now the, the schedule fluctuates, but right before meet season, we're going to be there for a little while. So those hours are going to shoot up a little. <laughs>